At a King County Young Democrats debate watch party in Beacon Hill, one candidate in particular seemed to generate a lot of buzz. I'm here because I love Elizabeth Warren. She's got a plan. I think she's electable. I think she's smart. I think she's got a good resume. I'm personally in favor of a, um, a Warren Castro ticket, but I honestly think that most of the people on stage could beat Donald Trump with a strong enough campaign. Some viewers, though, were skeptical of what they saw on stage. I feel like they're really vying for the extremes and not focusing on issues that are kind of more relevant um, to most Americans. Anna Taroski's with the UW College Republicans and says all those voices competing for airtime made it difficult to zero in on specific ideas. It's kind of hard to have real discussions when there's that many people vying for attention. Um, I think once it narrows down a bit and there's only a handful of people, we can kind of talk more of the details more things that would distinguish them in terms of what they're actually going to do, not just who can excite the crowd and who can who can say the most things that will trend on Twitter. We're in a situation now. All right, so the next Democratic debate is in mid-October. It's actually scheduled as a two-night event in case there are more than 10 candidates, so still a big field of choices tonight as voters listen to their ideas and decide who they're going to pick. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Ted.